So yeah, Shelby wanted to see me for some reason. I'm not 100% sure why, but I'm sure it's not a big deal. Hey Shelby, what's up? Hey, nothing really. What's up? Nothing. So, I just wanted to talk to you about a couple things. I just want to say thanks so much for helping us out this semester with shift managing. I mean, now that Scott's back and everything from his internship. Yeah, I personally, I think I've been doing a great job. And uh, I just think for the rest of the semester, being that shit... Wait, did you say he's back? Yeah, Scott's back. He's in the room. <laughs> You're funny, Shelby. I love seeing your funny side. Well, I'm going to go shift manage. I'll see you later. This thing happened. Shelby was in there and she told me that Scott was back. Isn't that weird? Scott's back. Like, you I do? just saw him. Dude, stop. Alright, I'm sick of this. I'm still the shift manager and Scott's gonna be gone and by the time he gets back, people are gonna forget about him. So, I don't even know what they're talking about, to be honest with you. This isn't where the shift desk goes. No. people on the phone. All right, squad, we're actually gonna go out in the hall for announcements today, let's go. Come on, team, come on, team. <laughs> all right, everybody, here's your announcement today. Make sure you ask for all your extras. It's nice on Monday, so you can be a little dirtier than normal. You can be five minutes late to work, who knew that? Time for icebreakers. Would you rather not be able to tell the difference between muffins and babies or change sex every time you sneeze? If your belly button was a button that could do anything, what would it do? And would you rather have every song you ever listened to be performed by Nickelback? Come on, people. Uh, or every actor in every movie is played by Nicolas Cage. Popcorn, Nicole. Um, well, the first one, I'm going to go with babies over muffins. Babies and muffins change every time. So I don't really want to, I don't know, I don't want to eat babies. Just kidding. I'm going to go with the other one. Change sex. That's fine. We'll go with that. <laughs> My belly button could dispense anything. I'm craving some tacos, so let's go with tacos. Oh, yeah! Oh, Yeah, I would say that I'm pretty good at supervising. Uh, love this job, love every caller on my team. Rachel's doing great so far. And Oh, it actually looks like she's about to get a pledge, so All right. let's see master at work. Can you offer my supervisor 25 for Awesome. Uh, hello. Oh, hi, my name is Dan. I'm Rachel's supervisor. Just hopping on to make sure you want to help out uh, the food bank with $25. All right, well, thank you so much for that support. You'll see I have her in the mail in about a week, and then, of course, we do have a month to take care of that. But, uh, oh, do you have any comments as to how to call me with Rachel? All right, well, thank you so much, sir. Oh. Oh, I'm s I'm so sorry. That's, that's my bad. No, you have a good night. Bye. Yeah, that was a woman. People say I'm the best boss. They go... God, I've never worked in a place like this before. You're hilarious. And you get the best out of us. And, um, I think this, I think this sums it up. Founded at Spencer Gibbs. I thought I was going to talk to quite a few people. I ended up sitting there for 45 minutes, twiddling my thumbs, talking to no one, and uh, playing chopsticks by myself. And then finally, well, when I actually did get to talk to people, you know, I thought they were going to be nice and loving and warm, and they were far from it. The room was just pretty loud, and I was getting kind of distracted. I started stuttering on my calls, and uh, I actually got hit with a paper airplane in the head. You know, it, it was an all right day. At least it wasn't the calf. It's pretty chill here. You can pretty much do whatever you want. I mean, I work at the calf on the weekends, and like there you cannot mess around. Like sandwiches have to be made, carrots have to be served. It's much more of a serious job, 
But yeah, here you can just do whatever you want. Finished all the paperwork. No more interviews today. What are we gonna do? Let's go mess with stewardship. Yeah, coordinators don't really interfere uh, with me. Uh, Shelby Vollmer, yeah, I like to call her Hillary Clinton. Uh, just I mean, not not to her face, um, and not because I'm scared of her. Hey Connor, what happened to that um, manager report on Friday? Totally forgot to send that to you. I'll do that right after I'm doing this. All right. Well, I need that in my inbox by at least one o'clock. If not, I mean we're looking at points, so. You got it. All right. I'm not scared. But, yeah. Joe, you're a Spartan. Spartans will. We have to go out and do this. You know how many kids are out there? They don't even have a scholarship. They, they don't even know what they're going to do next semester. They're going to be out on the street, and it's going to be all your fault. Unless you can dig deep, you can find a good reason why these people should change their minds. Do you even, do you even have a heart in there? Huh? Do you feel anything in there? That's your spirit. Come on. Come on. you got to use that. I get hype! Jeez, man. Kids these days. What's your why, man? Come on. Honestly, probably the best feedback I've ever given in four years here. Um, really, I could feel his heart beating a lot faster. Like, I could tell he was feeling it, so. Woo! A nice day for some pickups! Exactly. What's our, uh, where are we going today? We got, uh, we got some sweet Lorraine's, uh, Ooh. Chipotle. Ooh. Chipotle incentives, people love them. Uh, well, it's no company Ben's anymore, but she'll do. She's just fine. Wait, wait, wait. We used to tell me where the prices and especially the payment. We used to tell me you brought the aux cord. This is gonna be oh. Oh. Being able to control the music really makes the difference between having. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, God. Hey! Did anyone see you all right? Oh, God. People saw. Oh. People saw. Fine, fine. You're all right. Here, here. Come here. Just take this. Take Watch the head. Oh. There you go. Oh, maybe hit the head. Hey! Hey, how you doing? You all right? You want to you come on pickups? How about, how about Chipotle? You like Chipotle? By a car, right? Tragic. Yeah, it's weird, you know. She's such a nice girl. I don't know anybody who would ever want to hurt her. Hey Sam, dude, the lists are out. What up, dude? Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, for sure. Dude, you've been killing it today. Six for six? 100% dude, but I feel like we can just keep going to the top, dude. I know the lists are out, but like, we can keep going. I think so too, dude, honestly. Yes. Probably just do this ourselves. You think? I mean, I just got some new lists. Let's do it. Yeah, so I'd love to get you down for the award subscription. Like, that'd be so Mr. great. I'd love to have no, you come in. It'd be excellent if no, you just listen Mrs. to me for Richardson. five more seconds, Mrs. Richardson. Hold up one second. Here. I mean, honestly, ma'am, it would just be just one thing. Down for you really quick. Yeah, absolutely. I just have to grab my super. What we're basically just taking one is... second. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're no, basically I totally just understand. reaching out right now. This company was really something that started with an idea. Um, everything starts with an idea. And, you know, me on my half, I was just literally running out left and right and up and down and frontwards and backwards and then backwards again. And then I was there. Yeah. And then he was there. And we had this guy coming in. I mean, one of the best callers I've ever seen. Thank you. Um, and it's just, you know, we, we found a really great space. Um, right in the back room there, his rent was so cheap that, like, Got a premium. They pretty much paid off. It just screams trust. Just screams. And, trust. you know, S. C C C is like our, and it's like triple A, but with C's, so you know you can trust this. I, honestly, we just rolled with it. Um, and this was a, I mean, this is the kind of name and the kind of company that just hits you in the face like a ton of brim. Yeah, we really just went to the drawing board and uh, we worked out all the logistics and, uh, you know. Crunching numbers. Exactly. Crunching exactly. numbers and, you know, formulas and, you know, Sam's cute. Uh, and, and I'm very cute. Um, and it, it just came down to it where we just kind of had that aha moment mm -hmm. and you don't really think you have those very often in your life and 
when everything just comes together and you create a brand that's mm -hmm. gonna last eternity. Uh, you know. And well, you know, uh, he's Sam. He's Cam. And, and uh, we're, we're, we're Scam. Scam. Scam calling company. My supervisor over really, really quick. He's just gonna just hop on and verify this. He's just gonna verify this uh, for just me. Just make sure I'm doing my job. Uh, okay. You know, just want to make sure I get these yeah. all down. Yeah. And keys and keys um, so I'm gonna thing. pass you off to him really quick. So but here he is. So um, just give me one me. second, and we'll just all take right. care of that for you. Okay. Hold on, one second, man, please. Just one second. Okay. Here he is. Yeah. Hello. Hi, man. Hey, Shelby. Got a minute? Oh, one second. I'm on the phone. Great. This won't take long. All right. I'm gonna have to call you back. So I was just wondering, how many supervisors we hire in this semester? A lot, actually. It seems like they're trying to push some of the older supervisors out and kind of bringing in newer supervisors. If I were you guys, I'd probably hit them with an ageism suit. Ooh, uh, what is that word? Ageism, it's pretty much where companies can't discriminate against you because of your age. Um, we tried to do something similar to Dion a couple years ago to give him like a mandatory retirement age. Unfortunately, he pushed back with his lawsuit and we had to back off. So you're saying old people have the same rights as younger people? Yes, Josh. Oh, is there already a meeting in here? I was going to do a credit card workshop. Josh told us to wait here, but we don't know why. Oh. All right, great. Everyone's here. Let's get started. Dan, have a seat. Why are you doing Dan, this? Dan, have a seat. I'm still your boss, remember? Okay. <sighs> All right. So, I've heard a lot of talk about these retired lists lately. And quite frankly, these negative reactions by callers are a form of ageism. What? Yes, I am right. Now, did you know that the List Discrimination Act of 1967 specifically prohibits list discrimination against campaigns containing people over the age of 40? I did. Yeah, he's technically right. Hey! Shut up, Michael. So, how many of you have called retired before? Okay, cool, great. Now, what's your favorite part about calling retireds? Okay, fine. So why do we, as a society, hate old people so much? Because they're lame. <laughs> yeah. No, Bob. No, they're not. In fact, in most societies, old people are revered. People like Bill Shatner, that old lady from the Titanic. So when you guys go in the room today, I want to see you light a fire under these old farts. Ready? Let's go. Let's call them. Woo! Let's go, guys. Awesome, so that's all I have for you. Did you have any other questions for me or comments about Jake? Alright, I will definitely let him know you said that. Thanks so much again, man. Have a great rest of your day. Wow, Jake, I'm really impressed. I didn't know you had it in yet. Nice, DJ. I knew it. I always knew it. Everyone was wrong about me. My supervisors, my managers, my fellow callers, my doctor. This is parkour, internet cessation of 2004. Essentially, it's getting from point A to point B as creatively as possible. So yes, they are doing parkour if point A is delusion and point B is the hospital. Parkour! Oh god, dude. Parkour! 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 Watch the coffee, watch the coffee. Parkour. It's your thing. No, I'm not trying to sell you a bed, ma'am. I'm, I'm not the guy from Reverie. Okay, absolutely, absolutely, okay. Yep, take you off this list. How'd you get this number? Uh, well, ma'am, I picked up a phone book. Okay, abso absolutely, absolutely, ma'am, absolutely. I promise that, you know, we'll take this off your list and never call you again. Um, but we might send you out some direct mail. I also have your mailing address. But okay, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Oh, those are some choice words, ma'am. I really would, okay. Did you hang up? Should I call her back? I think I don't know if she disconnected or not. Yeah, we'll get the next one. Oh yeah, that was a terrible. That was a terrible call, man. Dude, um, I just had a couple hangups myself. Terrible call. I mean, what should I do? Could you go on a feedback? Sweet. Dude. Hi, dude. My name is Wendell Gaetan. I'm the EP manager extraordinaire. Pretty cool here. If you ask anyone around here, I'm kind of a big deal. Um, you know, I just walk around and uh, you know, I just like, hey, how are you? Give them high fives here and there. I have an assistant. Um, her name is uh, Catherine Segman. She's pretty cool. She's from the UP. Um, so I'm trying to teach her a couple things around here. You know, how we do it in EP. Michael, you wanted to see me? Yeah, I did. Can you please take a seat here? Sure. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Well, I could be better, but um... 
I really don't want to do this, but um, as you know, being a supervisor, you have um, requirements, you know, EP related, mm -hmm. um, in order to get an above and beyond raise. Um, and you know, usually it's a very attainable goal to get. Well, last semester was two events, um, and you went to all two. Great job. But uh, this semester was 17, extremely doable. Um, you haven't gone to any. Why? Uh, I mean, it's just been a hard semester. I, I'm sure you can understand that. Yeah, mm, I don't know about that. Um, I know everyone has a hard semester, but come on, 17 events, that's so easy to attain. Um, but I hate doing this, but um, you know what? Uh, you, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this book here. Yeah. Um, well, there's a section in here specifically for EP. It says if uh, you don't go to any um, events, um, you get a sort of punishment. And I feel like, you know, not going to any event this semester is a really bad thing. So, um, uh, you're fired. You're fired. Um, thanks. You know, you're fired. Uh, it's, uh, you should have gone to more EP events. Oh my god, I'm just kidding. This is a complete joke. I'm just trying to teach her how to do my job. High five, you did awesome. Michael, you suck. Well, they usually don't go like that, but you know, you'll learn. You did great, by the way. Michael, uh, he's all right. He's, he's bad, he's, he needs to go. Michael needs to leave. Well, James, you know why you're here today. You've gotten two negative feedbacks already this month. Uh, clearly we can't have that continue. Um, so, we're gonna just go back to the basics here today. A good old fashioned mock call, uh, you know, test your skills, maybe give you a little feedback, you know. Uh, so, Kevin over here, he's gonna be doing the call with you. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we can just kinda jump right into it, just like a normal call. Pring, pring. Yellow. Hi, my name is James. I'm actually a student here at Michigan State. Just calling to let you know about some things we've got going on here on campus. Oh, that's fantastic. I've been uh, wondering what's been happening on campus. Name, sir? Uh, William Butlicker. Oh, it, it, is that your real name? What do you mean? It, it, um, yeah, is that, is that like your real name? Which of is course that it's my you... real name. Uh, my, oh. my, did you know that the Breslin Center was originally the Butlicker Center? Uh, my family founded this university. I, I'm sorry, I'm actually a, a new student here. Sir, I, I'm, I'm not, I can't hear you. I'm a little hard of hearing. You're going to need to speak up. Hi, yeah, like I said, I, I'm I, actually I just, just going to... I can't hear you. Can you... Just a little louder. Yeah, our Essential Edge program Lava is... Sons? Butt liquor! Our Essential Edge program is Did really great! Did you yell at me? No, 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 I'm, I'm not yelling. I'm dare not dare you? I'm not yelling. Do you know who I am? No. <laughs> I, I need to speak to your supervisor. Uh, uh, okay, just give, give me give me one more chance, real quick. I, I just no, let you know. No, I, 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 this is this is unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. Yes. Hello. Uh, this is Alec, uh, James's student supervisor. I hear that you are kind of having some issues. Yeah. My name is William Butlicker. Oh yes. And that that young man was very rude to me. Oh yes, Mr. Butlicker. Well, I'm I'm very sorry about that. Uh, that's never our intention here. At yeah. uh, you know, I'm yeah, Alec, I, I yes. like the tone of your voice. I'd like to donate. One million dollars to Michigan State University today. Do you wow. take credit cards? Dude, you're the you, master. Yeah, yeah, of course we do. Yes, for sure. Oh definitely. God. I can. Uh, let me just put that in the system. I can no, definitely. Do I, that. I have one condition. You need to fire that student who is so rude. Don't do it. Um. Yeah. I just better. I can get better. I promise I can get better. Don't do it. Do you Do you know what Pearl Stephanie would do to me if I turned down? I'm sorry. I mean, yeah. I guess I'm not worth that much. It's been good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, well, I'll take care of that right away. Thank yeah. you very much, sir. You shouldn't have been ever working here in the first place. Sorry about that. I agree. Gam, come on, man. Get off the phone, dude. Oh, take it to the cell phone zone, bro. Sorry. 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 sorry, sorry, Um, so I do just have to put you on with my supervisor really quick, so I'm waving him over. <laughs> yeah, on, he's, no, he's running. <laughs> he just fell. He looks ridiculous. No, you can check the webcams. So next week is our banquet. We just try to recognize people who, you know, maybe don't get recognized every day. Jacob Vasek, Michael Gaitan, like who's gonna give them an award? Um, so this is an opportunity for us to, to recognize those people, make them feel good, you know. Um, 
and I'm a little devastated this is my last banquet but um, you know it's a lot of fun and I'm, I'm excited to see what what Allison does with it when when I'm gone so right. I think we've got everything you ready to do this uh, what so we're going to each nominee's house and we're gonna let them know that they got a nominated for a Golden Phone Award. So we're gonna, you know, put on the stuff and let them know. You, you gotta get them excited. We're go to their houses, like not have Yeah! All right. All right, you, got, you wanna get that and we can, yep. Did you make this yourself? Uh, yeah, it's good, yeah. All right, let's do this. for a Golden Phone Award. Well, congrats. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. What time is it? Um, you know shift starts in a half hour, right? Did we, did we wake you up? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you. Okay, congrats. Yeah, no, you congrats just... though. Oh, yeah. Woo! Right. Cool. Um, okay. Here, uh, we'll see. Yep, here, here this is yours. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we now. should, uh, do this at, at work from now on? It's probably a good idea. Yeah, okay. The banquet is a huge event. The most important part, though, is the food. You got your protein, your steak, you got your complex carbohydrates. In addition to that, you got your veggies, but the most important part is you got your cheesecake. Who doesn't like cheesecake? The banquet is pretty much just an excuse for PR media to boss us around for a month. When it all comes together, it's fantastic. But Karen Allison? Um, I don't know if you've, I'm actually from down the hall, um, from SCAM, and um, I actually got a pledge, and I heard you guys do the processing stuff, so do you want me to just drop it off here, or basket? Uh, you know, Sam, we're actually really busy with, like, alumni and, like, real donations mm -hmm. and all that, what have you, so... Oh, got you, okay. Well, I'll just, I'll leave it here then, and if you could take care of it later, that would be so great. Alright, you guys are the best. Thank you so much.